Hey guys, Lynn Burke here, owner of Blues City Music in Memphis, Tennessee. Thanks for stopping by. We're continuing with our Guitar Amplification 101 class today, and we're talking about the Soldano Custom Amplification Astroverb. This amp comes in two options, a head or a 112 combo. With some minor differences, they're basically the same amp. So we're going to take a look at the combo first. This amp is 20 watts. It's powered by two EL84, so it's going to give you that British type sound that you're looking for. It's got five 12AX7s and a 65 watt Eminence Legend V12 ceramic speaker. Uh, this amp is perfect for guys that want to play at home. Uh, you can you can get as loud as you want at home. I've gigged with it. Uh, you're going to be a little limited on clean headroom with 20 watts, but uh, within reason, you're going to be able to you know, get by, no problem, especially smaller blues clubs. It's perfect for that, and you'll never be overamped for that. So this particular um, amp is great for about anything you would uh, want to do, and it's really simple to operate. And we're going to show you some of the differences on this amp with some close-up shots of the front of the chassis as well as the rear. Okay, so stand by. Let's take a look at the front chassis of the Soldano Astroverb in a 112 configuration. Guys, here's the front chassis of the Soldano Custom Amplification Astroverb. First thing you're going to notice, it comes with chicken head knobs. It's the same cabinetry that's used on the Soldano 44, but chicken head knobs won't fit on the 44 because there's an added second master. So that's why the Astroverb works really, really well with chicken head knobs. Standard quarter inch guitar input right here. Preamp or your pre-gain setting with a master volume. Standard Marshall style bass, mid, treble, tone stack, followed by a presence control and a reverb. Now this reverb is really dynamic. Uh, it's a really big spring reverb, so if you're a surf guy, uh, this is definitely going to be the amp for you for sure, okay? Now, let's talk about how to run this amp. You're going, well, wait a minute. There's no effects loop. There's no second channel. How can I get grit out of this amp? Well, the way to run this, anybody that's been playing guitar long enough is going to know that you can take a single channel amp and do anything with it based upon pick attack, how you fret, um, pickup selection, where you're picking along the strings, as well as tone and volume control on the guitar itself. So where you should set up your, your controls for your guitar is going to be when you want your rhythm tones, you need to roll back on the guitar somewhere around 6, 7 to 8, somewhere in there. When you want to start getting some crunchy tones out of it, you run it wide open. In this case here, because there's no additional master volume, you can, just, you can just go back and forth between the two. So... The way Mike has this thing set up is, he says, guys, go through here. If you really want the max headroom that this amp's going to have, run the master volume wide open to 11. Run it wide open to 11. Then you come over here and you set your preamp setting. The lower the setting, the cleaner the amp is going to sound. So if you really want to get some serious drop T, Van Halen, uh, Buck Cherry, uh, Zach Wild, uh, what have you, uh, aggressive grit, then you can run this pre-gain, this preamp setting up around 7, 8, what have you. Now, if that's going to be too loud for the venue you're playing, then once you get your gain setting the way you want, then come back over here and bring your volume back down. But remember, it is a single channel amp. You'll need to go back, you'll need to get used to rolling your guitar volume up and down to help uh, with the clarity and the, and the cleanliness of the amp. You want to clean it up, roll it back on the guitar volume, and if you want it really crunchy and gritty, run it wide open. Now you finally look over here and you say, well, look, there's no standby on and off switch or a power on and off switch. It's just a single toggle. Don't worry about it. It's a red light on or off. That's it. It's simple. And then down here, of course, you can see that these are front-loaded cabinets. All of Mike's cabinets are front-loaded. The 112 
combination amps like this in the 44 have four screws that pull off a panel that's velcroed to the front and the speaker is front loaded so you can tighten it down really tight without worry about uh without worrying about warping the basket which is a real problem on a rear load cabinet um, there's a lot of guys out there that are running rear load that's fine but if you want to do that correctly it's finger tight and then it's a quarter to a half inch turn with a screwdriver or a wrench and then you walk away from the cabinet that keeps from distorting the basket this is going to be the front of the soldano custom amplification astrovert here is the rear of the soldano custom amplification astrovert 16. take a look over here guys you're going to see your standard 117 volt ac 60 hertz removable iec power cord one fuse on this amp guys it's a 20 watt amp two amp but do not use slow blow mike wants to use 250 volt agc fast acting fuses you can get these at radio shack best buy fye anybody out there that sells this stuff all day long guitar center places like that so any of those fuses will work just don't use slow blow he wants the amp to, to blow a fuse first before it does any damage to the amp, okay? Over here, we've got two speaker jacks. And you're saying, well, wait a minute. Where's the impedance selector? On the 112 combo, it does not have a impedance selector. And it doesn't need it. Mike has this amp set up to where you can run any cabinet, any for one or two cabinets, all day long without any issue. Guys, it's a Soldano. It's made to last. You're not going to have any issues with that. So it just doesn't get any simpler than this. Here on the bottom is your spring reverb. These bags are made by Susan Bendinelli at Studio Slips in California. They're the best ones you can get. And this is a true spring reverb that works extremely well. And you'll see back here, it's a semi-open cabinet. And this speaker is made in Kentucky. It's the Eminence V12 Legend. That's a stock speaker that Mike has used for many, many, many years. He used to run uh, a speaker that uh, he developed with Eminence many years ago, but just decided, you know what? The stock Eminence is similar to a, v a Vintage 30, but it doesn't have the mid-scoop or the high-end spike that some guys complain about a Vintage 30. It's a great speaker for this amp. This amp with a Tele or a Strat Clean is sick it's got some really good strat teletones on it and if you want to grab with a les paul and stomp on it the great thing about it is even in 20 watts you can push this as hard as you want and it's not going to flub out on you a lot of smaller 16 to 25 watt amps in this category are going to flub out on you once you really push it this amp can take it so this is the, the rear of the soldano astroverb 16 Guys, this is the Soldano Custom Amplification Astroverb in a 112 configuration combination amp. Give us a call at Blue City Music, 901-485-8250. We're in Memphis, Tennessee. Or you can catch us on the web at www.bluescitymusic.com. You want to call us on Facebook or at Twitter. No worries. You could catch us there. Also, you could send me a text. If I'm flying international, the easiest way to do that is just to send me a text, and I'll get right back to you as soon as I can, and we'll get you hooked up with this amp. It's a really nice little EL84 amp, 20 watts, 12-inch speaker. It'll do anything you need at any time. Give us a call. Thanks for stopping by.